A vacuum suction massage treatment is a mechanical lymphatic drainage treatment. It is used to stimulate the lymphatic system and aids the removal of waste products, draining the lymph from the tissues and improves colour and appearance of the skin. When used properly, vacuum suction is a gentle and effective treatment and so relaxing that the client should fall asleep when treatment is being carried out. The only rule of thumb with vacuum is that you should work towards the lymph nodes to reinforce the natural drainage ability of the lymphatic system. Vacuum suction is effective when used in conjunction with other treatments or it can be offered on its own and good results will be seen in the skin's appearance after a course of treatments. It is equally effective on the body, the same principle but just using bigger cups. My name is Selena and in this lesson you will learn the general effects of vacuum treatments, contraindications to vacuum treatments, how to prepare for vacuum treatments and how to perform vacuum treatments. A vacuum therapy treatment to either the face or body is classed as a mechanical treatment performed with the aid of a compressor as there is no electrical current flowing through the body. A vacuum suction machine works using a pump action which creates a vacuum in the various cups attached to the tubing. A cup is referred to as a ventus and they come in a variety of shapes depending upon the client's needs. Most vacuum suction machines are very straightforward and have an on and off switch, an intensity control to adjust the vacuum pressure within the cup and a pulsating switch to alter the vacuum which creates a mini pressure within the cup. If you are unsure whether the client is suitable for a facial vacuum treatment, try pick up on the facial tissue around the jawline. If you cannot pick up any tissue, the client's skin is too thin for vacuum treatment. Offer an alternative treatment. Effects and reasons for using vacuum suction. Stimulates granular activity in dry skin. Reinforces cleansing effect and aids removal of skin blockages. Aids desquamation. Encourages lymph flow. Increases circulation and increases cellular activity. Aids elimination of toxins and waste products. It has a general skin cleansing effect on normal drying combination skins. For dry, dehydrated or sluggish amateur skins, promotes cellular function, increasing the circulation of the skin. Removes oil and cellular matter. Removes skin blockages caused by incorrect cleansing. Aids desquamation and it unblocks follicles. Contraindications to vacuum treatments Delicate, sensitive skins Broken capillaries or tread veins Corpus conditions Loose older skin with little underlying tissue Infected skin sites Acne with persistence of pustules Recent scar tissue Cuts, bruises and abrasions Sunburn Tin bony areas Undiagnosed swelling Fine skin texture, an example would be found in diabetics. Epilepsy, herpes simplex, any granular swelling. Very hairy areas, while not strictly a contraindication, may not be very comfortable for the client. This may apply to facial hair as well as body treatments. See consultation form for full list of contraindications. There are a variety of vacuum applicators, also known as Ventus. Each glass Ventus, except the Comedone extractor, has an air hole on the side, which when covered creates the vacuum. This provides easy release and prevents skin drag or bruising. The pore blockage is used to remove specific areas of blockage which group together and need intensive treatment, like on the chin area but it's also used in anti-wrinkling treatments. The comedone is a small round opening is placed over the comedone, ensuring that the pressure is exerted evenly on the surrounding tissue to avoid scarring. The lymphatic drainage is the flathead ventus can be used for most vacuum therapy treatments. 
It will cleanse the pores while ensuring the skin is not over pressurized. It can also be used to work in the facial lines or give a lymphatic drainage massage. The facial cups come in different sizes, small with 21 mm and medium 27 mm, used for lymph drainage massage or general cleaning, lifting and stimulation of the area, depending upon the facial contours of the client. When performing a vacuum suction treatment on a client, it is important that you understand the lymphatic system and the nodes you are working towards. On the face, the preauricular lymph nodes are the ones located just in front of your ears. They drain fluid from the eyes, cheeks and the scalp near your temples. Generally, lymph nodes swell in one area of the body at a time. The problem, such as an infection, can usually be found nearby. The parotid lymph nodes, these are found near the parotid glands in the immune system. These nodes are the largest salivary glands. They are located just in front of the ears. The saliva produced in these glands is secreted into the mouth. The occipital lymph nodes are those found on the back of your head near the base of your skull. The submandibular lymph nodes sit between the submandibular salivary glands, which are underneath the tongue and the mandible or lower jawbone. The deep cephalical lymph nodes receive all the lymph from the head and neck either directly or indirectly via the superficial lymph nodes. The superclavicular nodes are a paired group of lymph nodes located on each side of the hollow superior to the clavicle. The submandible lymph nodes are between the anterior bellies of the gigastic muscle. The submandible lymph nodes drain the floor of the mouth and the center area of the lower lip and apex of the tongue. The buccal lymph nodes, they are located below the mandible in the submandibular triangle and collect lymph from the cheeks, the lateral aspect of the nose, upper lip, lateral parts of the lower lip, gums and the anterior tongue. The purpose of sensitivity tests is to ensure that the client has normal unimpaired sensitivity to stimuli, such as heat, pressure, etc that provide warning against overexposure to the effects of some treatments. For electrical treatments, there are two important sensitivity tests that should be performed. Your tactile sensitivity test and your thermal sensitivity test. By compressing the tissue into a cup and using a gliding and or pulsating method of application, you will be aiding the body to move the lymph fluid nearer to the lymph nodes to be filtered and improve the skin's condition. Care must be taken not to have great a vacuum, maximum 20% within the cup, as this compresses the tissue and capillaries may burst, causing bruising. However, facial cups are quite small and testing on yourself prior to application should prevent this. To ease application and removal, most cups have a small inlet hole which needs to be covered with the finger so that the tube is sealed to create the vacuum. This means that when you want to break the vacuum and lift the cup away from the skin to go on to the next movement, you can do so easily without having to flick the cup off the skin, so giving a smoother sensation and preventing possible damage. Application is always carried out over a lubricating product usually oil-based to prevent dragging of the skin. Always glide the ventus towards the nearest node. Avoid pressure on the skin. Instead, try to create a lifting, little lift away from the skin while keeping the vacuum inside steady to avoid bruising and to make the gliding action pleasant for the client. Application for vacuum suction. Set switch to on and check the intensity dial is at zero. Test machine on yourself in front of the client by turning up the intensity control clockwise until sufficient suction is obtained to glide on the skin while maintaining a vacuum. Turn off, then apply the massage medium to the face and neck with a mask brush or manual massage strokes. Apply the applicator on the chest below the clavicle in an easy flowing stroke over the surface. Adjust intensity to the skin's reaction and resistance. 
the lift into the applicator should not exceed 20%. Follow the diagram for the pattern of strokes. The duration of treatment may vary from 3 to 5 minutes for general cleansing to 10 to 12 minutes for massage and lymphatic drainage. Always follow in the direction of the lymph nodes. Check client skin for reaction. If a strong erythema occurs, this would be contraaction to treatment. Do not continue with the treatment. Vacuum suction can be used with any appropriate treatment or electrical therapy suitable for the client's skin type. It is especially beneficial after facial thoracic treatment to aid with the elimination of lactic acid buildup in the muscles. The first treatment should be carried out with careful checking of the skin's reaction. If successful, the treatment can be repeated preferably three times a week in a course of six to ten treatments. Then increasing the length of the treatment time to a maximum of 10 minutes for mature skins and 15 minutes for all other skin types. As with any treatments, aftercare and home care treatment is advice. Recommend suitable skin preparations and masks. Suggest a regular skin cleansing routine and regular salon treatments. Stress the need for regular use of a good moisturiser and night cream. If skin is congested and comedon extraction is required in the salon, recommend an exfoliating suitable for the skin type. Advise the client to avoid picking and touching the skin after the treatment and always recommend a course of treatments for maximum results. The effects of the treatment on the different systems of the body may include the lymphatic system, the circulatory system, the nervous and muscular system, skeletal system and the skin. Let's discuss further. The effects stimulate the pulsing action that the muscles normally create on lymphatic vessels by alternating, applying and releasing pressure over the lymph vessels, the lymph fluid is moved towards the nearest lymph node. Lymphatic circulation is increased, which assists with the removal of waste products from the area. The appearance of any puffiness will improve and treatment assists with the removal of tissue fluids from the area. Circulation is increased, which brings fresh oxygen and nutrients to the area, improves the efficiency of the removal of waste products from the area. Vasodilation of the blood vessels results in erythema. The effects on the nervous system, vacuum suction soothes, has a soothing effect on the sensory nerve endings. Increased circulation on the muscular system, which brings fresh oxygen and nutrients to the muscles and removes waste products, thus improving muscle functioning. The skeletal system blood supply is increased to the area, which brings nutrients and nourishments to the bones. Visible effects on the skin, aids death cremation, cell metabolism is speeded up, improving the skin's appearance, vasodilation of the blood vessels improves skin's colour, fatty deposits are softened, therefore helping to improve the appearance of the skin contours, sebaceous glands are stimulated and therefore secrete additional sebum. Let's review. Vacuum suction is used to enhance the effects of lymphatic drainage of the skin and superficial tissues combined with some of the effects of manual massage. This machine is mechanical rather than electrical. It is considered electrical equipment, only in that it is electrically powered. The machine consists of a pump which creates a vacuum applied to the skin via plastic tubing and suction heads of various sizes and shapes for application to different surfaces of the body. This treatment has a psychological effect at tissue level, which causes superficial vasodilation and erythema. Because of the vasodilation, blood flow in the area is increased, which may increase cellular metabolism. Lymph flow is increased. Superficial desquamation is possible as a result of the mechanical suction action. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and now have a better understanding of vacuum suction and treatments. Thank you for listening.